What's up? Welcome to another edition of Barton Makes Picks. I'm Barton Simmons alongside Trey Scott, and we're talking about every team in the country week by week, game by game, making the predictions, um, sealing the fate, mm -hmm. and today we're sealing the fate for Notre Dame. Notre Dame is not going to be able to catch anyone off guard this season. No. Right? They made the playoff last year, went 12-0 in the regular season, lost to Clemson. And I got some more bad news for you. This schedule is a lot tougher. And your two toughest games are on the road at Georgia and at Michigan. But I'm excited to kick things off, Barton, with a little Monday night football action at Louisville. A couple statements before we get oh, going. Oh, okay. You want to... Does okay. Notre Dame ever catch anybody off they guard? They caught me off guard last year. But week by week, when Notre Dame's coming to town, teams want to beat Notre Dame. Okay? Sure. Number two, before I get going on the schedule, I think Notre Dame will actually be better than last year. Now, does their record show it? Let's just, let's just let it speak Sounds to like you're trying to warn everybody about some disappointment coming <laughs> no. down the car. All right, at Louisville, yeah. uh, look, win. All right, okay. do we need to break that down? No, 1-0. No. They're ready for that one. Then you, I think you have a bye. A bye immediately. week. Quick bye week. Uh, and then they play New Mexico, Two which is no. one of like seven teams on the schedule that are playing Notre Dame before a bye of their own. Um, so that's 2-0. Oh. Yeah. Then you're going to, to, to Georgia. Ian to Bud, Athens. First shake from. Yeah, I, I think this is one of those situations where as, as strong as Notre Dame has gotten, as improved as they are at the line of scrimmage on both sides of the football, and in terms of their strength and physicality, you're going up against a Georgia team that's just a boa constrictor. And I just don't think on the road they're going to have the horses or the skill guys to go and get the job done, I, I think that that's a loss. I do think Notre Dame will have some built-in bulletin board material ready, though. They can just print out the Georgia Twitter action from uh, the that's Clemson right. game. That's uh, right. Virginia, Bryce Perkins. I mean, this is, this is sort of a classic Notre Dame team on their schedule. Just a right. bunch of really good teams. Maybe not sexy, but they can feel like they could beat just about anybody they play. Virginia, really good. Bryce Perkins, as you mentioned. But, I, look, I think Ian Book. Year two, we forget. I mean, he had to take that job mid-season. Um, I think Notre Dame is, is ready, particularly at home after that Georgia game, to, to get things right. I think they win. So 3-1 and one with a trip to Bowling Green will go 4-1. and one. Yep. All right, now it's USC. And this was a close game last season, but at this point in the year, you kind of expect Notre Dame, what they're breaking in on the offensive line, kind of a new slew of weapons at running back and wide receiver. You think these guys have experience now. This should be a pretty fun one. Should be a good game. And, and I think the key to this game, and remember last year, that was sort of a weird game. Notre Dame seemed to be playing real conservative, yes. just trying to get out alive and stay in the playoff race. This one, they're, they're kind of, they need to make a statement. Right. I mean, they just lost to Georgia two weeks, two, three weeks ago. So I think particularly coming in to South Bend uh, with the physicality I think Notre Dame has built this team around over the last few years, I don't know that an air raid is going to fix that flaw with USC. So I think Notre Dame still handles business and wins that one. That could do it for Clay Helton. Five and one. Good time for a bye because a trip to Michigan looms. That's right. Yeah, and Michigan is certainly a team that a lot of people are excited about. A team that is uh, getting some playoff predictions, sure. Big Ten championship predictions. But off a of bye week, uh, I think Notre Dame is ready to prove that last year wasn't a fluke. 2018 wasn't 2012. They go to Ann Arbor and win. Wow. <laughs> wow. Six and one. That's you right. know, I, I said Notre Dame gets slept on. You said you disagree. No one's talking about Notre Dame on Michigan's schedule this year. No. It's all about can Jim Harbaugh finally beat Ohio State. Maybe that no one, it's time to pay attention to that Notre Dame game. Virginia Tech. Another team that's, again, good, but uh, they're not sexy. This is not, a, I mean, this is a team that uh, with 10 starters returning on defense, uh, they're going to need to be vastly improved than they were last year um, but under Bud Foster uncharacteristically. But Notre Dame has just been steady. I think they are more steady right now now that they found a quarterback. Uh, I, I think that Ian Book and, and, and that team, Shavar Armstrong at running yeah. back, uh, that offensive line, they're going to be too much for Bud Foster's defense to handle, even as improved as they probably will be. So that's a win. 7-1 at Duke. Man, Duke, Duke just lost a first-round draft pick at quarterback and his top four receivers, and they went 8-5 and five last year. Uh, they're going to take a step back this year. Notre Dame has too much talent. So we'll be at eight and one. Eight Who and doesn't one. enjoy a good Notre Dame versus Navy game? Yeah, I don't even think Notre Dame enjoys that. Uh, the, the players don't. The fans may. Yeah. I do. It's a fun game, yeah. but it's no fun to play Navy. Uh, and so they're going to try to get out of that thing alive. And I think they do. Nine and one. There's like a theme of physicality over these last three games. 
Boston College time. I think this is a losable game. Sure. I mean, A.J. Dillon is going to be a lot to handle for Notre Dame, but I also think that we're going to see some real evolution, evolution and growth on the back end for Notre Dame and at the linebacker position over the course of the year. So this is a great chance to show that off. I think they win. 10-1, and, and your playoff hopes are certainly still alive because you have that win over Michigan as you travel to the farm at Stanford. Yeah, this is – look, that's what this schedule is. It's Georgia, it's Michigan, and it's a bunch of teams Notre Dame should be favored over. So if they do what we expect them to do, if they just show up and be consistent week in, week out, they should have a great year. This is another game at Stanford. They should be better than Stanford. They win. Oh. 11 and 1. Are you ready for like a lot of playoff controversy, a lot of playoff <laughs> drama? If Notre Dame gets left out at 11 and 1, maybe we'll see expansion.